loud. Not that I was loud on that one, really. Okay. Let's do some original. Now, I did this one as a rehearsal when I had up for a little while the other night. This is a song I wrote uh, sometime, I think, 92, 93. Um, it's pretty dark. It's a dark song, so dark that my old bass player, Paul Johnson, didn't ever want to play it like when we were out someplace. But the story behind it, and I told it on the other the other uh, tape I did that I took down, but you can't, you couldn't hear me talk, so that's why I'm doing it again, really. On the grass. Um, so I was probably like 28, 29, I don't know. And I was getting my credential at Cal State Northridge. And, um, you know, any situation I was in back then, you know, how guys are, just, you know, always looking around, see you know, who there was to talk to, ask out, who knows, whatever. And there was one, um, you know, pretty, pretty girl there, lady, but she was, uh, she was obviously a few years older than me, so that means she's probably like early 30s. And she had a ring on her finger, and so right away I remember thinking, she's married. And I know better than to bother her. And um, so we talked, she was real friendly, and she seemed flirty, like the whole class. And then at the end of the class, the last day, I said something about her and her husband, and she said, oh, I'm not married, and I was like kind of stunned. And she turned and she walks out, never saw her again in my life, I don't remember her name. But um, I remember, oh, the wedding ring's on this hand, this finger, and that's, and that's, you know, so that was the basis, so I went home and wrote this song. to her fancy toes Listen pretty peggy -o. A few dumb words and I'm good at that Not much else but I'm good at that I can run so she can read. I shoot out from the tapestry. I thought it was a wedding ring, but I don't know from wedding rings. I don't know. Costume luck is into me, haunting me all over me. Can I have your dirty thing? Let me smell your dirty thing. So critical. Of everything, how can I stand anything? She cut their heels and we were home. I was home and she was home.
Seven days to catch my breath, a lifetime of a poor man's death. Look at me, please look at me, can't you even look at me? Start hurting the hand. Okay, one more tune today. King, are you gonna come up here and see the peoples? You better get up here. Okay, he's not coming. King, come right now. All right, this one is a fun tune. This was written by the Face Cookies again. That was Dave Rufo and Jeff Kossoff. Started that back in 1980, and uh, you know, when they were just you know, young, it's 17, 18. And uh, I knew them for years, and eventually, by the end of the 80s, they asked me to join because I was writing so many songs anyway. Well, they didn't really ask me, I just kind of was at some point. And um, we used to co write a lot of songs, and you saw some of them here. And I thought, I, you know, I was looking through old songs to do because I'm running out of material. And I haven't been able to write one I really like in the last few, you know, the last few weeks. So this is around 1990, though. So this wasn't one of our old songs. But Dave Roof had come to what we do. We'd all get together, and what we, we'd rent out um, really sleazy hotel rooms, like um, that were full of just you know prostitution and drug use and everything, because we could record all night as loud as we wanted, and it didn't bother anybody. So we'd get these horrible rooms, and there were police outside all the time. And, and so and we'd be in there and we'd just be, you know, recording our album all night. It was because we didn't have a studio. We couldn't afford a studio. And these hotels were like, you know, 40 bucks a night of even that. Probably a lot less. What am I saying? 40. It's probably like 20 bucks a night. And, um, but we'd all show up with our songs written. Yeah, I don't remember anybody ever asking us to be quiet. I remember us wanting other people to be quiet so we could record. So Rufo came with this song, he'd, he'd already recorded the music, so he wrote that, and he wrote the first verse, and he wrote the chorus, and uh, so he just wanted each one of us to write and sing a verse, and we'd done several songs this way. So this is uh, music by Dave Rufo, uh, chorus by Dave Rufo, and lyrics by all three of us. His verse, then my verse, then Kossoff's verse. Uh, let me just take one look at something, and then I think I can do it without looking at anything. I want a girl with no upper lip If she can't hear me, I'll say zip As we walk and laugh and roll in the rain I'll watch her plaid girl start to twirl I'll watch her blue eyes start to curl As we roll and jump and lock in the rain And I'll say, honeydew, oh sweet, sweet honeydew Can't you tell me which path you're walking down, 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 down Honeydew, oh baby, I want you Can't you tell me which path you're walking down I want a girl what has no fear and a solid attitude As I leave her just a standing in the hall Heavy eyebrows looking crude, heavy fortune solitude As I throw away my past in the rain And I'll sing, honeydew, oh sweet, sweet honeydew Can't you tell me which path you're walking down, 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 down Honeydew, oh baby, I still want you Can't you tell me which path you're walking down Scientists in the fold, I see us doing this one, we're real old That we should happen to lose our loving ones Whatever hearts and hands can hold, the greatest story ever told I woke up with the downbeat of a slap and I was born to be And I'll say, honeydew, oh sweet, sweet honeydew Can't you tell me which path you're walking down, 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 down Honeydew, oh baby, I want you Can't you tell me which path you're walking down, 
da da do da da do da da do da da do We're bucking down, 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 honey do. for today's show. We got one more, 25. Uh, this is 25, it's 26, and that's six months next week. And uh, that'll be the last one. Maybe I may, I'm still hoping to get a guest star. We'll see. Hoping to get a keyboardist. Um, and I know I already, I've already committed to do at least one dedication next week. Maybe more, we'll see. Okay, bye. <laughs>